close till I get out. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be me training my friend who is a beginner. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials because I do post more outside of YouTube. Okay, so let's get straight into this video. Now the first bit, I would say 5 minutes, 4 minutes is mainly just us warming up and um, me talking to her about just stuff that we're going to do for the workout and stuff. Um, as you guys know, I do, or for those who don't know, I do offer um, online and in-person personal training and in-person personal training is only available for people that are located in Toronto and also I am a certified personal trainer and nutritionist because some people are always asking me if I'm certified or if you do need to be certified to be a trainer and you definitely need to be okay Now this video is gonna be just mainly abs and glutes and also you guys I don't want to hear or read anything in the comments talking about this is not beginners some of you in the comments you really don't put in work or effort because majority of the stuff when I say is beginners it really is beginners but you guys are just too lazy to put in the work so I beg like it's 20 2020 is coming up like let's leave them excuses somewhere else okay because this 2020 is only for people that are actually gonna put in work and not and stop complaining that it's beginner okay for being a beginner when you start warming up and stretching is you want to hold each um, exercise or position for at least 25 to 30 seconds and you really want to focus on breathing as well I always tell my clients that when you breathe um, slowly in and out it helps you through the stretching process and for those who always um, don't be I always also tell my clients don't be scared of the pain just always push through a little bit and listen to your body sometimes if it's too much then don't push yourself too much but in order to gain flexibility you need to go a little bit over your comfort zone through the wastelands through the highways to my shadow through the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways Also throughout this voiceover in this video I'm gonna be mainly giving you guys tips and advice on if you're a beginner and coming into the gym a lot of people feel intimidated or don't like to go to the gym because they feel like they don't know what they're doing or etc so yeah I would say my first um, advice would be when you decide you want to start working out really know your what your why and how okay so your why is why do you want to get why do you want to start working out why do you want to be um fit or is it what is your goal basically and then how is what are you going to do to reach that goal so once you figure out what you want to do sometimes people um 
when they come to me about something they'll say I just want to do this and do this and do this and when it's like no you really need to know what you want for your goal and then I'll show you okay this is what you need to do to reach your goal Another and really really important thing that some people don't pay attention to is your shoes personally okay so in the past you guys probably, those who've been watching my videos for the longest time for me the last um, pair of shoes that I've worn I had them for like two years it was the Nike I forgot but I'll show you guys a picture and I switched to these shoes that I'm wearing in the video and it's a huge difference and I always tell my clients to like when it comes to foot placements on machines and just working out, it's really, really important. So you want to get really good shoes for it. But there's different shoes for every. There's shoes for weightlifting. There's CrossFit shoes. You know, so um, I sometimes will wear the shoes that I'm wearing in this video or my All Stars or I think there are people say they're not even called All Stars. Converse. Also, another big tip is throughout any exercise that you do, you really want to take your time and focus on your mind to muscle connection. I always tell people don't rush when you're doing an exercise. If anything, doing it way slower it will be more effective because you're taking your time, you're really focusing on the mind to muscle connection again and focusing on your foot placement, which is where you're putting all where your body weight or the machine weight and yeah. Trust. Yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. 
also you guys i want to say when you're a beginner one thing you really need to not do is stop comparing yourself to other people a lot of the time people always ask me oh how long do i see results or how long did it take me to see results etc and honestly when it comes to results it really depends on the person and how can literally your results are all up to you it depends on how consistent you are how much sleep you're getting what you're doing for recovery how much how much do you walk around how much do you lay down what do you eat are you being consistent are you working out only this time and this time around so it's really so many different factors and again it also depends on your genetics genetics excuse me some people it may take longer and some people it may take less so if you're gifted for example like me as well with my genetics a lot of the time when I do exercises or when I want to lean down and stuff it takes me a really short period of time and I can easily reach a goal worse versus some people obviously it's gonna be harder for them to reach a goal but that's fine because there's a reason why you have to do that probably God made you like that because he wants you to work harder you never know Another thing I like to tell people that are really important is gratitude and patience. Now, patience is so important when it comes to your work, your fitness journey, because like I also tell people, honestly, progress is progress, whether it be little or big, it's still progress and you're still working towards your goal. So stop, again, stop comparing yourself to other people and be kind to your body. A lot of the time, like throughout my whole journey i've battled with loving myself and stuff like that and obviously we're human at the end of the day everybody's not gonna like how they look or they're gonna be we're our worst critique so obviously we're gonna pick nip and pick what we don't like about ourselves but it's really important to practice um self-love and gratitude during your whole um workout journey Shadow turns the sun rays and And when I work out with my friends, it's slightly different than when I work out with my clients. Obviously, when I'm with my clients, it's more serious and we do have playful times in between when we're working out. But when it's with my friends, sometimes we're obviously we'll be goofy and stuff like that because I know that we're on a way more personal level. So um, if you're a beginner, really go to the gym when you're starting. Go with a friend or a family member or somebody that knows what they're doing or also you can if you feel like you can overcome that yourself and you plan out this is what i'm going to do and stuff and so when you get to the gym you already know what to do and you won't feel as intimidated but it's also it doesn't um uh, it's not bad to bring a friend with you and then until you feel comfortable then you can start going by yourself Turn us to thousands
Okay, so this first part of the clip, I was showing my friend how to do proper form. Now, form is also really, really important. Sometimes people will message me and they'll say, well, I'm working out, I'm being consistent, but I'm still not seeing the results that I want to see. When it comes to form, form is really important because, for example, if your target is to grow your glutes, your foot placement and your form is really important because depending on how you're doing the exercise, you really want to try to target that area that you want to grow as much as you can because there's no such thing there's no such thing as just targeting one muscle group you're using your entire you're using pretty much your whole legs even your upper body as well so you want to just make sure you have good form okay and obviously when you have good form the less you are prone to injury Okay, so the rest of this video is just basically abs um, her goal was also just to focus on her abs so I, we just did some exercises after that and my tips for when it comes to abs is just make sure you focus on your breathing take your time when you do the exercises and I always like to do like a one to three second hold and really just like take your time I don't know it's really hard to explain to people when um, they're working out by themselves and they don't have somebody sometimes I'll look at people and I'm like oh you're doing that so wrong and you could be doing it this way instead and reaching your maximum results but yeah
Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And again, on my website, I'll have a link down below. So if you guys are interested in online um, training and in-person training, if you're in Toronto, you can sign up and register. Um, I'm going to be accepting more clients in January. So yeah, everything will be in the description. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left.